Okay, so this is uh, the mythical climb where today's suffering will commence. Next to the road, um, today is a cell phone vlog. I've only got my cell phone here, GoPro battery's dead. I've just been too busy with a lot of other things. But anyway, I'm going to take you through my session today. Um, it's uh, now 8 times 6 minutes at anything from 408 to 412 watt. The sun shining, it's a little bit humid, it's nice and hot. I came down to altitude. You always do these intervals at above 400 watts. Um, or anything above your threshold or near your threshold, you try and do them at lower altitude. Um, especially if you're sleeping high like me, you're going to benefit greatly from that. Trust me. Um, no reason to explain that. If you don't know that, uh, go read a couple of books. Um, this, this, this switchback here is my marker. I know it's going to take me exactly about six minutes here. Um, anything around 410 watts. That way I don't have to constantly stare down at my unit and try and keep the watts. I kind of just focus on my breathing, uh, breathing through my stomach, getting in as much oxygen as possible and uh, not letting the numbers get to my head. And I know if I kind of get around to this switchback, uh, I know I've kind of hit my numbers. And sometimes with functional dehydration, you'll see that you get with almost less watts, you get a little bit further. Um, maybe uh, you just went warm, warmed up properly on the first one you're sitting up very straight or if you sit down a little bit more aerodynamics as the legs warm up um, and another thing uh, to take into consideration is functional dehydration whereas uh, you can even depending how many intervals you do beforehand or how long you've ridden before you start with the intervals you can be uh, a kilo and a half lighter from dehydration so uh, um, let Yep. Now oh, that's a great view. <sighs> Who wouldn't want to agree with that? Okay, and this is the exact turnaround point around about five minutes where I turn around without having to focus or look at the time and start with my intervals heading in that direction. So another thing that I always elaborate on is never ever ever rest, rest more than the prescribed timing between the intervals. This is so 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 important. Uh, but remember to keep on not freewheeling in between uh, on in the rest period between those intervals. Don't freewheel too much. Keep keep on spinning, spin the lactate out so you don't uh, start your next intervals with completely blocked legs. So uh, yeah, now that summer there's a lot of flies and bugs getting a lot of protein nowadays. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very short vlog. Remember to check out my new channel, the Secret Training Bible. I hope there's some stuff you can learn on there or enjoy the content.